Melissa here. Welcome back to Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Um, I wanted to show you I got some new glasses. These are my regular glasses. They're a, a pale blue sort of grayish color. those. Next I'm going to show you my sunglasses that I chose. They're a pink, a very pale pink. <laughs> I can't really see the screen, but that's what these look like. Hey, y'all, this John called. I don't have the reading ones on yet. Pink. And this is the one that Paul says is Elton John. I really like these. These are my reading glasses. It's a miracle. I can finally see. They're very bright pink and they're clear down here. And I really like them. So, I think I'll leave the reading glasses on for this video because I know there's a lot of things normally that I can't see and I'm always taking my glasses off. So, this will work. I really love all my new glasses. So, how is everyone doing? Today is Saturday, um, the 20th of February. And we took, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. We took Will. He wanted to go to the Dollar Tree, so that's where we went. We went to two different locations, and I found some new things that I've never found before, so I was really excited. So um, let me show you what I got. time I have found the um, chopping mats. I got two. One, two packets for me to use um, for crafting like when I use my um, glue gun because you know those things get really hot and uh, if you have to let it heat up sometimes the glue inside will start dripping out you know depending on how much is in, I guess in the chamber or whatever. So this is to sit my glue gun on so that doesn't ruin anything. And this one's for the kitchen. I saw these really cool straws. There's 80 pieces and all kinds of really bright colors. Um, there, it says a longer flex. So these can see that part there you can uh, loop these or however you want or if you don't want to put loops you don't have to but they make them into sort of those crazy straws I thought Will would enjoy these and I do like to have a straw myself time to time so that was a really good deal Will saw this Dr. Seuss coloring activity book that he wanted oh we we don't have um, Will spent $25 at one store, but I don't have his stuff, so we won't. It's okay. He only had three things in this at the second store. But I saw these Jot um, double-sided markers and asked him if he wanted those, and he said yes. So that's for Will. I saw this um, light up keychain. I like to have stuff like this on my keychain because you never know if you're going to be, you know, in the dark somewhere. So I got that for myself. Keychain. Oh, and it also up here says it's a bottle opener, which I would never use. I just wanted it for the flashlight portion. What? Just for watch. Oh, this is Will's watch. 
um, it's magnetic band. Uh, this is his watch that we got for his seizures. He needs to wipe that off. Looks like that's soap or something from when he washes his hands. Okay. Um, this is a repurchase for me, and Paul told me to get a couple of them because um, the, the one that I had, uh, it ran out because, you know, I like to do puzzle books and everything. So I got me two more of the Llama ink pens. They're really, really cute. They have kind of a message down here. Uh, Express it pins is what they say. Spirit animal collect all three. There's a sloth. Yeah, I think that's a sloth. A uh, unicorn and a llama. They're just black ink, but they do write really nicely. I got this really pretty pink and blue, bluish purple uh, harness. This is for Bella because as the weather gets nicer, we uh, take them to the dog park some and she slips right out of a regular, just regular collar. So they had a nice selection of these. I hope a small will fit, here, fit her. I really think it will. So I got that for her. I thought these were so freaking cute. I buy the men's socks for myself when I find some really cute ones. Um, I was wearing fox ones today. And I saw these um, gnome socks. So I got a pair of those. I only bought one box of lemon heads. My husband has spoiled me greatly for Valentine's Day with a lot of candy, so I didn't go crazy. Um, I got this cucumber melon. Uh, you can hang this off your purse. Um, I bought one of these pomegranate, I think pomegranate and mango, uh, a couple weeks ago, and I have it on my purse right now, so I've got a spare. Let me just throw this stuff back in really, really quickly. has three things in it but here is my other thing of hand sanitizer this is coconut lime these aren't bad at all they're not super super thick but they're not like liquidy either because I don't like the really liquidy ones but you know, Paul saw these, so I went ahead and got it. <clears throat> he saw these and got this for Samuel. It's a Mountain Dew Kickstart Fruit Punch and a Mountain Dew Kickstart Orange Citrus. Okay. Another bag. I wanted to keep some of these, um, these are those magical adhesive dots. You know, like you get some things in the mail and something's attached to this and it's really hard to get off. So, you know, you might need this sometime. So I wanted to have some in, in my crafting thing. There's 72 dots. <clears throat> Excuse me, I saw this really cute. They're just blank cards. And again, I, you need to have blank cards because if, if you don't have, say, it's someone's birthday but you don't have anything, you can use a blank card. Um, these have donuts on them. They're expressions from Hallmark. Price on the back, $3.89. Eight cards for a dollar, you can't beat that. I picked up a thing of bugles, 3.7 ounces. These are good through October 2021. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I saw this, and I thought this was cute for our Easter sign. We're going to see the one right here behind me for Valentine's Day. We're going to take that one down, and this is blue glitter, and it says Easter greetings with the metal 
um, rabbit. I thought it was cute. So I picked that one out. Next bag. I picked up two bags of the Andy's Cheddar Fries. I've, already, I've got one in the other room that I opened to have a little bit of snack before dinner. Love these. Huh. I don't remember this. Paul must have picked this up. Uh, Russell Stover Pecan Delight Bar, which I love. Now, this I'm really, really excited about this because I never find these. So, I picked up two of the foot masks, one for myself, one to go in my gift thing. I picked up two of the hand and nail gloves, uh, softening, one for me, one to go in my gift thing. Um, cucumber exfoliating scrub and pink grapefruit clay mask. It's one of those two part or two masks. Um, I got this for Samuel. I got two because he's got so much hair and it's very long. But I want to give do this repairing honey hair mask on him because he's like kind of rough on his hair and um, with winter too, it was looking a little dry so I wanted to do this for him and I picked up hydrating aloe two-pack sheet mask and a purifying grapefruit so like I said I never um, have found a lot of these really cool masks but I did at one of the locations so I went ahead and got them. Another bag. Okay, in the pet section, Ivy has food right now, but I like to have these on hand, so if uh, we happen to run out and I don't know, and she likes this. This is the Nine Lives Daily Essentials, and the Nine Lives Plus Care. So, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at someone. <laughs> Is that my husband? I don't know. Someone was... Hold on just a second. I gotta change glasses. Paul. I keep me in my name keeps me in what, Can you please go check on the porch? Someone walked from down our thing and walked across the street holding they something. They have been walking through our backyard all the time. All right, but I don't know. It didn't look like they were going through our backyard. It looked they like walk. they went right down our path. Okay, sorry everyone. I don't like the idea of people walking around our door or whatnot. How do I know what they're doing out there? You know? Um, we've lived here for quite amount of years, and I'm telling you, people across the street, their kids, would try to steal packages off our porch. So I don't trust anyone. Okay. Paul picked up these natural buffalo shin bones. He picked up three of them. <clears throat> well, all I said is I saw them <clears throat> like they were coming from our porch. They were on the sidewalk, no, the not the yard. No, the steps are showing that they walked through the yard to <clears throat> across because they're too right. lazy to walk to the corner. And then I needed a pair of tweezers. Somehow I had a really nice pair of pink ones. I've lost them. I don't know where the heck they are. But, so I needed, they didn't have nice ones like the ones that I lost, but I did need a pair of tweezers. So, um, 
I got that. I'm sorry that we got distracted, or I got distracted, but like I said, I wanted to see what was happening. Okay. I saw these aromatherapy bath soak mint eucalyptus. Hmm, they smell good. Um, 17.6 ounces. It is the brand April Bath and Shower. Paul picked up the Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo. Paul picked up this White Rain Men's 3-in-1 Shampoo Conditioner Body Wash. Cool Ocean. 3-in-1 Power Stick spring fresh for men the guys like to use that and juicy green apple revitalizing shampoo and i've never seen these bath salts before bag, but then I have a couple other things to show you. Paul picked up this Windex, or not Windex, but window clean, you know what I mean. Window cleaner stuff. He put some stuff in here when I didn't see him. Um, magnetic list pad, lots to do. It's a cute llama. He knows that I like llama stuff, so he picked that up. I saw these in the garden section, the floral scissors. So I went ahead and got it. Um, I'm not sure if this will cut. You know how the artificial flowers have that wire? I used to have a really nice set of jewelry pliers and stuff. Let Samuel use it for his guitar strings and whatnot, and I never got any of them back and he can't even tell me where they're at he took one in particular but then he doesn't know what he did with the other one so I'm not really happy about that because I you know could those jewelry making pliers are expensive it was a whole set plus two whole sets so I picked this up to try I saw these beautiful glitter poster letter stickers I got two packs. They're beautiful um, fuchsia pink. I don't think they're coming off that way, but they're absolutely tons of sparkle. Um, I'm going to be making a sign for my dad. I made it for him already, but I bought this spray stuff. You know how people are always on here DIYs, making signs? And then they spray it with the clear coat. I did. I bought a clear coat, an expensive one. That was a spray, but that was supposed to guard against, it had like SPF and all kinds of other stuff. The sign did not even make it a week before it was ruined. It was all the paint peeled off, cracked off. So I have to redo this whole sign for my dad. But, um, so... It did say Shelby's Garden, so I think instead of me painting the letters, I'm going to use these because they're beautiful and they're the right size. So I'm going to write Shelby's Garden with these, and then I'll paint some butterflies and some um, ladybugs, whatnot, stuff to it. So, I'm, you know, I've got some time to do it. Because I'd like to be able to work outside when I do it for a little bit. And it, obviously I can't do it in the winter. So, and uh, when I do finish it, I'm going to buy liquid clear coat. And I'm going to pour it on top and put like a, a really thick coat on. Is what my goal is. So, I needed another Sharpie marker. So, there's a small black one. Because I've got 
the bigger ones. I did find one of these uh, bamboo charcoal, the Bathory Lit Spa Charcoal Infused Exfoliating Puff. I love anything that's exfoliating, so I'll use that. I got two things of uh, scented wax that I'm going to use my little crock that I bought at um, the Goodwill store like a month ago. This one is Tiki Colada with Turquoise Tides. And this one is um, Melon Pop and Orange Creamsicle. It smells pretty good. Yeah, that smells really good. And so does this. So, got some wax melt. <coughs> okay. Um, for Valentine's Day, my husband bought me four. I'm the husband, by the way. You keep forgetting my name. Paul, you all know who Paul is, bought me four boxes of Cellas, 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 I don't know how they pronounce it. Um, chocolate covered cherries. I love them. Here's the kicker. For Christmas, you could find them at Walmart. So I thought, okay, Valentine's Day, I'll be able to find them. Could not find them anywhere. All they had is this Queen Anne's brand. I think it's Queen Anne's in their cream. It's not the liquid. It's a cream. I don't like that. I want my liquid center of these. So um, I've got this box. And I've already had, I think, two other boxes. Those are the milk, and then he bought me this of the dark chocolate, the individually wrapped. I had two boxes of these. The other box is gone, and I'm on this one. These are not individually wrapped, but then my other box of Sela's, it, it looked like this, but half the size. Um, they were milk, 12 milk chocolate, and they were all individually wrapped too. So, I am loving this. I've been divorced, ladies. I'm a divorced man. Look who she married. A four-legged creature. That's my baby. I love him. I love him. That's my boy. That's mommy's boy, Peanut. Oh, he loves me. I love him. I love you, little man. Hey, guys, leave him alone. Okay. Um, also, for Valentine's Day, he got me this um, Switch Pet Clinic Cats and Dogs game I wanted. I haven't tried this one yet. And I also picked out House Flipper Buy, Renovate, Sell. I've played this for a little bit. This is harder to learn because there's so many things that you have to do that it's trying to remember which um, buttons to push um, but it is a little more harder type game only because trying to learn the controls but it's fun um, you go in and like for instance uh, you go into a house it's really dirty and you get rid of, you pick up trash and you get rid of it. Um, you go in there and you, if something's dirty, you take your broom and you clean it. You know, it's stuff like that. What I have not been able to figure out yet, so it's a little frustrating, is when I go in there, I want to like throw all the furniture away and then start fresh. But I don't, the, I can only figure out how to move the furniture and there's like not enough room in there so that's a little frustrating for me so I have to try to figure out if I'm missing something as to um, 
how to sell the furniture and then start with a clean canvas. So I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Where's the other one that we got this afternoon? Oh, it, no, it's in my bag of my glass bag. My gla my thing. And I saw this and I wanted it, this phone holder. It's this little baby Yoda. You can't see it down here, but he sits and hugs your phone, so I got that. He bought me this today, um, Nintendo Switch. Risk, which I I don't know how to play that, and it's not something I would want to play. Trivial Pursuit, and that's also not something I want to play, but I wanted it for the Monopoly. I like to play Monopoly by myself, or, you know, like me and computer players. So, he bought me that. Yes, I spoiled there. Yes, and he bought me this big big bottle of my Versace yellow diamond this is the only thing I wear I do wear um, I will say this though I do wear um, lemon verbena type fragrance from L'Occitane during the summer months but this is like my this is my stuff that I wear. I absolutely love it. And he bought me this Recently. set. Um, it's got a little tiny bottle um, of fragrance in there and then some shower gel and hand gel. He's like, this was the only way he could get a hold of some shower gel. But, yep. And then he got me this pretty llama blanket. Um, hold on, I can show you from my phone. It's upstairs in bed, so I can't get it, but I'll show you on my phone what it looks like. What? My llama blanket. Oh. I don't think I had a computer screen big enough for that thing. Here it is. Here it is. It says, I love you lots. Can you even see that? There we go. We're having a big time glare, but it's a pink blanket. And what it is, is the pink side. It's really interesting. It The pink side feels like suede but I know it's not but it feels like suede and the other side is um, that Sherpa that faux Sherpa but it's a twin size like there there you go but it's super adorable and they do have a pillow that matches this too so you got me that. That's upstairs. And she was grateful enough to allow us to upgrade our family TV to a 65 inch, even though we didn't have to, but it has helped our seeing things better. So. And I saw this, um, I don't know, somewhere. In a magazine. In a magazine, yeah. Maybe one of the free video game magazines from Walmart. I saw this and I said, oh my gosh, I need this. We got to get this because it looks hilarious. Paul got a new uh, limited edition um, PS4. PS4 like over a month ago or whatever. Um, so I saw this game. It's called Maneater. And what is so cool about this, it's uh, mature ages 17 and plus. You actually go through the ocean and you play as a killer shark, as a white shark. Look um, out, man. She enjoyed it. I was laughing so hard. I, I had to get up and go potty because I was laughing so hard. This is so funny. I was, um, 
going to the beach and literally almost beaching myself to, to eat people. Um, but I figured out how to get on the beach to get them and then turn around and get back into the water before I would die. It's hilarious. Hilarious. You can get and you can jump on boats and get people. And um, if they happen to be swimming in the water, you can kill them while they're swimming. You can also um, eat fish, you know, turtles or whatnot out there. But I prefer to seek out the people and attack them. Because I thought it was hilarious. So funny. So, yeah. <laughs> and they're bleeding all over the place. And uh, I just, yes, you may say there's something wrong with me. But hey, I'm not physically hurting anyone. Um, I'm just playing this game and I think it's hilarious. So, but like I said, I really, really like my glasses. Um, I, I could not believe when I put my reader glasses on how, how I could see my phone and my uh, Nintendo light or my Switch light. It was like, oh my gosh, it's a miracle. I can see. Because for years now, I've just been pulling my other glasses off and holding stuff up in front of my face. You've seen me do it on this channel, trying to read things. So, I'm so happy that I got my three pairs, my sunglasses. Because right in uh, last, when, when this pandemic started... Right before this pandemic started, like a week or two, I had a fall, and I broke my gla my sunglasses into my face. Busted up my knee, you know, cut my face. I mean, so it's been quite a while since I, you know, I needed some sunglasses. And then um, I definitely needed some new glasses because my, um, my eyesight has gotten worse. Um, and the fact that I do a lot of puzzles or, you know, playing games and didn't have reading glasses, I was getting headaches and my eyes, I noticed were getting like super tired at night behind my eye. Um, so with all this new stuff, I should, um, it should definitely help me greatly with the issues I was having. So, and another good thing is we bought the warranty because I'll be the first one to admit I'm clumsy. So all three of these glasses can be replaced one time free of charge within the first year. Certainly enough, folks, her three glasses were cheaper than my single pair of glasses. That's sad. I got three pairs and they were still cheaper than his one pair. Not by much. And that's, uh, there's something wrong there. Well, here's the thing. You know why? Because he chose to get the transition lenses, the ones that when you walk outside, they gradually get darker. Well, and I have the bifocal as well. And the bifocals. That is why his one pair of glasses cost as expensive as they were. And how come I got three pairs for less than his one? These are my new ones. I look like Clark Kent. So, um, yeah. We paid $1,200 for one pair for Paul, one pair for Samuel, three pairs for me. Expensive. But uh, the three of us needed new glasses, so. It's the price we pay or getting old. Yeah. And Will, he's lucky. He uh, has good eyesight and excellent hearing, too. Paul and I, it's funny, we try to talk and uh, whisper, and he hears us. So, okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our haul from the two different Dollar Trees, and um, a couple weeks ago, we, I started to film a Goodwill haul, and something happened with the computer, and I lost... I had just started to show you the clothes that I bought, and I, I don't know what happened. It, the computer messed up, and we lost that footage. 
So I may go through, Paul's going to repost that video up to what we had, but um, I'm going to go through those clothes and, and find them and then make another video to show you what I got. But um, I would like to go the next time we get paid uh, before Will goes into the hospital to a Goodwill because uh, we've been going to different locations of Goodwill and that's really, really fun as a family. And uh, I really like the Goodwill and Xenia. And uh, we're going to search out for some new ones too out in that area like Middletown, Xenia, um, maybe even in Batavia because they had a really good... Um, Dollar Tree when we went to Quaker State Restaurant uh, and there was a Dollar Tree right there. So, you know, we're going to head out that area towards Dayton and Middletown and all steak that. Steak and Shake. Not Steak and Shake. It was Quaker yeah. Steak and Shake. Yeah. Quaker Steak and Lube is what it was. And um, so, yeah, we've been doing that. We think that's really, really interesting go into different um, Goodwills, and then if we really like them, like the Xenia one, uh, we will go back. So, okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, have a wonderful weekend. Um, sorry it's been quite a while since we've had a video. Uh, we're also going to be putting up one with, uh, I've got tons of dog videos that I took not only with our animals, but with my brother and sister-in-law's animals uh, that I go over and take care of. So, this is the new zookeeper. Okay, everyone. Bye. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.